um, yesterday, you know, when I saw this thing on, um, it was on Blaze TV. It was just a quick couple minute thing, but I saw about that they were putting a guy on the cover of Playboy. You know, of course, that's just to me, like, are you freaking kidding me? How much more ridiculous are we going to get with this shit? I mean, right now we've got a, a, a man, trans woman. So somebody who was born a man who decided to want to be a woman's athlete and now is a woman is the, you know, the, uh, I don't know, the cover for Newsweek or something. I don't know. They're just really making like, I think won some awards or something for best athlete. It's like, oh my God, this, this shit is so over the fucking top. It's ridiculous. Now we got, uh, guys on Playboy magazine. <laughs> Playboy magazine, we all know what Playboy magazine is. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's a girly magazine. So why are you going to put in guys? Because you got to push the agenda that, uh, yeah, if a guy doesn't accept seeing another naked guy, then he is um, discriminatory. You know, he's discriminating. It's so fucking backwards. Because, you know, I, I mean, I started being around gay people when I was super young because of, um, I was a hairdresser and, you know, anything you go into with the arts is full of gay people. It just is. I mean, most people who are, I say most, I'm, I'm not trying to generalize, but most of those people who are in touch with that side of themselves are a lot more creative kind of people. They're in the arts and creative kind of things. So, a lot of gay people when you go into those kinds of things um those kinds of jobs and stuff so i have known tons and uh through my life and always have accepted them i would classify myself as um they have a word <clears throat> of course they've always got a word for everything a label for everything and i think what i am called is called a pan sexual or something like that Somebody who doesn't fall in love with the outside, falls in love with the inside, looks past the shell and is only about the soul. Uh, I think that's what they call it. But anyways, that's what I believe is the truest way as a being, a living being is, you know, is about love is love. And love should be overlooking. If, if you're in love, like true love with somebody, then what's on the outside wouldn't matter and what's between their legs wouldn't matter right that is more just division 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 that they got to create and promote but you know the lesbians i've known are huge uh, uh men bashers you know <laughs> all the fucking time and uh the gay guys are you know oh no don't i don't want to see that oh yuck oh that kind of shit you know so they're the just they discriminate they're the ones who know no i only like this part i only like that part when they're pushing everybody else to get in touch with their gay side well, when are they going to get in touch with their straight side you know because this is just over the top you know and you and this is all about um learning so you know so you know maybe there's a guy who is going to go and he's going to be working with the guy and he's just going to fall madly in love with him he's just going to be like oh my god i just want to be around this person this person is so freaking cool i just admire them i look up to them i want to spend time with them you know maybe they start getting in their head like oh i really like to kiss them or whatever but they're going to hold themselves back because they've got limitations because they believe like oh well that makes me gay that's a, ooh, gay, I don't want to be gay. God, everybody's going to make fun of me if I'm gay. You know, so they get all in their <clears throat> head. They hold themselves back. They miss out on what could have been a great love for them because they worry about what other people thought. They're worried about being judged. So they hold themselves back. That's their lesson. That's their lesson in life. It isn't, you know, we don't have to push these agendas on everybody. Everybody has their own fucking lessons to learn. So you don't have to go in and push you know, oh, well, you better be open to this. And every guy's a little gay, so just face your gay side and start, you know. It's like, <laughs> each person's an individual and each person's on their own journey. And whatever their journey is in this life is their own 
independent journey, <clears throat> their own experience that they're going to go through. So this constantly pushing these narratives it is just ridiculous. And it's going to start backfiring. And I mean, it's, it just goes so far, just like this stuff, you know, the male, female, the man, the man, born a man, but he's the female uh, champion. It's like, okay. Okay, so how, what does that do for the women athletes who have worked their whole life? You know, so they, do we now have to make a whole new thing? You know, women need to leave these, uh, the trans athlete community so that they can go in and create their own again? Like, I just, I, I don't know. I mean, some of this stuff is just so, so ridiculous. And I can't believe people actually try and stand up for it. Like, it's a good thing. It's like, well, maybe if you step back a little more and you start gaining perspective and you start looking at it in a broader sense, you'll see like, no, this isn't good. This makes no sense. And it's, um, you know, it just keeps everybody arguing and fighting and division and all of this stuff. It just is so ridiculous. And, you know, when you get to that healthy place in your life where you feel good about yourself, <clears throat> you don't need other people to accept you. You don't need other people to love you, to love yourself. <clears throat> I keep going so hoarse lately. The weather is total shit. Going right into allergies. Going right into fall flu season, of course. And, um, you know, the, oh, this is going to go into... I mean, it's been so dark here. Just as like a reminder of like, oh, we're going into this uh, well, uh, hot October. <clears throat> but it's going into a dark winter, um, you know, because of all the people who are going to start seeing through this bullshit, through the illusion, through the creation of all of this false reality to control you and keep you divided and to control your life while you're alive. You know, the people, I, I mean, all the people who are 30 years old riding around on scooters at this point, like, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, what do you think is going to happen to you when you're 40 or 50? If you already can't walk when you're 30, you start, your body starts um, being impacted by your health. I, I mean, if you're 30 and you're already in that bad of shape, I mean, you really got to get a handle on your life because where do you go from there? I mean, seriously, uh, you, you've got to start thinking about like, if you're abusing the shit out of your avatar and you're not taking care of it, and you're caught up in this three-dimensional illusion, playing along with the game, and, you know, uh, demanding people to, yo, you better respect me, who cares if I can't even walk, you better, you know, say I'm doing good, it's like, no, that's, that's enabling, I'm not gonna sit there, it's one thing as I am is honest, I'm not gonna lie to somebody, <laughs> and I would tell somebody to their face, that's not healthy. Your body is suffering. And your body is going to be giving out. <clears throat> you have to start taking better care of yourself. But in this whole process of people, you know, starting to really understand this world. And, you know, the whole thing, too, with um, Big Pharma. Yesterday I was watching this movie. Just a random movie. Uh, it was some sort of psychological thriller. And it was about a professor who was working with people who had, um, what is that, night, night tears, uh, but that kind of, um, where you are um, paralyzed, paralyzed night tears or something like that, I don't know, whatever, somebody knows what it is, but um, so it's this professor, you know, he's working with these people with this, and I, I couldn't even keep up with the movie, and they use those high-pitched frequencies to just keep you unsettled and I hate it. I, I bet you a hundred bucks that's going to end up becoming illegal in movies. Just like when they were doing subliminal messages. Because it fucks with your uh, psyche. It fucks with your emotions and stuff. That stuff. These frequencies, um, you know, they use frequencies to, uh, uh, you know, attack and control us. And I get hit by frequencies all the time. Uh, so anyways, um, in this movie... Uh, this is a professor at a school, you know, and he's trying to do this thing. So he is talking to administrators and deans and stuff like that. And this one, just total disclosure, you know, just out of the blue, just wherever they stick it in. And this was, um, 
uh, big pharma in the colleges. And, you know, they'll do what Big Pharma wants because Big Pharma gives them the money. So then they can get the better science, science professors or whatever to come in so that they can do the studies that, you know, uh, well, it's got to be okay with Big Pharma. And then, you know, when they get the studies, they get peer reviewed, they get in the um, magazines and books and stuff like that. Then, you know, these kids who want to go to that school will pay whatever exorbitant, exor, exorbitant, you know what I'm saying, uh, a lot of money to go to these different schools. And so, you know, it's uh, it's all a kickback kind of system. It's all a, you know, uh, I'll scratch your back, you scratch mine because Big Pharma has infiltrated our education system. But Big Pharma is an extension of the government because Big Pharma is the population reducing machine. They are creating ways to reduce the population. When I'd seen something about like last week sometime about the government um, not wanting to have people go over 55 because they did, that would be a burden on society because it, we shouldn't have to pay social security to old people, they should just die. You know, and I'm telling you, they tried to kill me in the hospital. <clears throat> so. They don't want older people around because they think it's a burden to society. So they have used medication to accelerate uh, aging process and inside people's bodies. Yesterday I was at the parking lot, you know, my daughter was in the store and I'm sitting in the parking lot. I think I talked about this probably with the, um, seeing all of these people who were probably around my age, but they looked like so old. Oh my God, they look so old and, you know, they, and they do, do give a lot of themselves over to the system. Like, oh, you know, women can't have long hair past a certain age, you know, and they whack off their hair and, you know, they just, they, they stop being themselves. They start, you know, conforming to what society expects them to be. And they age themselves with these medications. And that one woman, you know, she had no freaking hair on top of her head. And that is, uh, that's definitely side effects of medications, you know, and she probably is taking several. She could be taking ones for thyroid, ones for diabetes, ones for blood pressure, you know, all of the ones. And then you gotta take the ones for the GI upset, and you know, I mean, hormones, like in the, how they all mix. That's why each person is gonna have all of the different symptoms. They can't, they're trying to always wrap us all up into one little ball. We're not one little ball, we're unique individuals and um so you know their whole medication system is there to age you and to um it's the it's the globalist you know depopulation agenda <clears throat> and they're doing their job really well i mean we see it right now how well they're doing it and you know it's a it's a quick you know come in and do a lot of people real quick but it's going to be long lasting as well. I mean, we're going to have a lot of stuff to get over in this next part of this transition. At least, you know, we're past the one part of, you know, where it was being um, shown to us. Like the past, whatever, year and a half has all been about being shown to us what's real. And, you know, it's been disturbing. And then we're going to go into justice and healing. And the, that part, the justice part, is going to be the first time some people even are, this is going to be new information. So the healing is going to be deep, deep core, core wound healing that is going to be going on. Because, you know, how do you wrap your head around that you were oblivious? You know, you have a lot of stuff to look at when you were thinking, oh, I wouldn't listen to them because I was judgmental. I didn't want to hear what they had to say because I couldn't overlook, you know, the baseball cap, the flag, whatever, you know, uh, that's, that's internal stuff. That's the same thing when I'm talking about with these gay people who are whining about being discriminated against, but they're discriminating against others and they're trying to force people into their agenda and stuff. It's, it's, um, you know, everything is in the upside down. Everything is backwards right now. And when everything flips, over and you see it and that's what we're in the process it's kind of a a little bit slow but there's going to be an abrupt switch back 
you know, where it's going to be shocking. And there's going to be a lot of people who are going to probably remain in shock for a little bit of time. You know, and I completely get it. I completely understand. I'm telling you, that Marianne Williamson thing. I know I keep saying it, but look, it really did me in. I cannot get over that. And I think I had to have that happen. I had to remember how shocking this is going to be for so many people who believe what they believe and everything they believe is wrong and false and lies and built to manipulate them and destroy them. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of exposure of, um, through the, uh, the judicial, through the, um, you know, the justice part of this, there's going to be so much being exposed and, um, it's going to be very difficult. And from what I understand, it's going to be all you're going to be able to see. Like there's not going to be like TV shows. <laughs> well, we got to go through a transition of that too. I mean, you can just go in any old movie and you can watch it. There's something in there. There's disclosing something or manipulating your mind or programming or whatever. Indoctrination is around us 100% all the time. So, yeah, there has to be a clearing. Uh, there has to be a, a reset so people can reprogram their brains. This is like everybody has been in this freaking cult. And all of these people, too, that have been, you know, uh, oh, yeah, just do it. Just do it. Uh, be a good person. Just do it. Especially spiritual people. I, I can't imagine there be a spiritual person that is truly in that uh, God consciousness in their heart because if you are in that space you trust God you trust your natural immune system you trust the process you trust you know that you know you have an expiration date you know that you have to take care of your body you know mind body spirit so that's truly about spiritual being these other people who are just like oh yeah I'm spiritual but just go do it just do it you know, that is going to be a lot of freaking hard lessons. And, you know, if you have been one of those people and you are going to wake up to that, your, the part you played in this Jim Jones scenario, it's going to be rough, you know, to face that side of yourself. And you're going to have some karmic debt associated with it. And you're going to have to rebalance that. I would advise you to start rebalancing it immediately because, you know, we are on a time thing. You know, the age of Aquarius has to begin. And so that whole part, you know, because we're still in this transition, but the other part, the good part, you know, that's up ahead. You know, we don't get it just, you know, it's not like up ahead hundreds of years away no it's right up ahead so yeah you got to start doing your healing start uh you know doing uh, redeeming yourself resetting the balance start going out you know and helping people because there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be suffering and it, you know another thing too is you've got to get it in your head that even if you got this and they're going to release all this information you have to get it in your head that everything they're saying, it doesn't matter. You are your own person. You can work on your own healing. Don't get it in your head like, oh, now I'm going to die. Now this is going to happen. Now that's going to happen. No. Get those things out of your head because you will you'll create that to happen. You've got to, you've got to realize what you do want and um, create that. Don't create what you don't want. Because so many people do that, creating what they don't want because they live in fear. They're scared that that's what's going to happen. So that's what they focus on. You want to pull back from that energy. You want to focus on what you do want. And, uh, you know, you want to live. You want to be healthy. You want to, you know, and, you know, they tried to kill me. I have a brain injury. I'm going blind. I have, you know, physical things wrong with me as well. So you can still continue, you know, maybe your life is going to be a little different. Maybe you're going to have some deficits. Deficits, de deficits are, uh, you know, obstacles for you to overcome for your growth because you will find growth in all things. If you don't stagnate yourself, if you don't give up, 
the people who are going to go and just give up and, you know, do themselves in, they're destined to repeat this, to have to go back and relive it again because you have to have this opportunity to heal. And right now you've got things you're healing from multiple past lives. You're healing ancestral trauma. So there's a lot of healing going on. And, you know, a lot of the stuff that's going on in the physical is um, distraction to keep you from your own healing. So that's why when once you see what's happening, don't get caught up in it. You know, work on yourself, work on your healing because um, that is, that's the ascension process. That's what's going to get you to where you want to be. And, you know, yeah, if you've done some things that has ended up causing other people pain and suffering, like some of these people, now I get what they said about some of these people will never be able to walk down the street again. And I think about, uh, what's her name? Casey. What was her name? Casey, whatever it was. Or was that her daughter's name? But that whole thing where that young, pretty girl killed her daughter and, um, you know, they shut all that stuff in court about how selfish she was and, you know, locking her daughter in the trunk of the car so she could go out and party at night. All of that kind of stuff. Um, and they let her off. And, you know, it seemed like no justice, but she can't leave her house, <laughs> you know? And that's what's gonna happen with a lot of these people, like the Jennifer Aniston's and Matt Damon's of the world, you know, that have been misguiding people. You know, uh, celebrities sell out for the deep state. You know, they are creating a lot of bad karma for themselves. So there will be people who will not. They're, they were all about their fame and their selves and loving themselves so much that put themselves above others that, you know, they're gonna find themselves in their own prison. You know, and I heard that one guy talking the other day about uh, the guy who reads the energy off of, um, I think his name's Cliff Hyde or something. Um, something about he does computer programming or something. He can read the energy off of the computers and stuff. And um, he was talking about there's going to be a lot of assassinations because when the people are going to find out, who, you know, what these people did and people who have had, um, you know, death in their family and tragedy in their family are going to be looking for someone to blame and these people that went out and um, misled people you know they're going to be in danger they won't be able to walk down the road it won't even just be the politicians I think most of the politicians are going to be um, you know they're going to have uh, treason uh, and you know whatever the some things you can't say but you know, that's what happens is uh, or, or, when um, you do treason. So a lot of the politicians are just going to be, you know, they're not going to be here anymore. But there's going to be some people who, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, some of these people, you know, they, they weren't evil when they were born. But, you know, evil can be intoxicating. Evil can feel powerful. And some people just got themselves into some situations that they couldn't get themselves out of. And, um, you know, but the beauty is there's always redemption. Like some of these people, if they really went out and really started trying to really help people, you know, they can change all that. If you've done some stuff that, you know, has been misleading or selfish or, you know, because everything has to do with intention. And you can't get away with your intention. You can't say, oh, my intention is this. Because your intention is coming from within. You can't lie about your intention. It's it's in there. You, no matter what. You can convince somebody that you meant something else. But it's still inside of you. So you still will be held accountable for your intention. So, you know, there's no tricking about intention. You know, that's this worldly kind of... Uh, way of looking at things in the soul world of looking at things no everything is your intention so yeah uh if you if your intention was you know all self-indulgent it was all about you it was all about you know you getting more of what you wanted you know if it's fame money power whatever that's going to become you know clear 
Um, but there's just, there's always redemption. You know, there's always that opportunity to see the error of your ways and to start cleaning up your mess. Because this is all about growth. This is all about conscious awareness for everybody, whatever place you're in. So, you know, and the more that we come together and the more that we focus on ourselves, then we're not focusing on others. You know, I'm, I, I feel bad that there's going to be people that are going to be in that position that they need, they feel they need to go kill somebody over it because then they're creating more bad karma for them. You know, because even if you go and kill somebody, that's like, you know, number one in God's law, thou shalt not murder. You, you don't go around killing people because somebody harmed you or did something dirty to you. Like I've had a lot of dirty things done to me. You know, you just get up and clean yourself off. You learn from the experience and you move on. And, um, you know, but we're going to go through some stuff where people have to learn some stuff and it's going to be rough. <laughs> so again, be safe and, you know, work on yourself. And if it takes isolation to keep yourself out of the crazy chaos, focus on that. You know, as soon as you understand what's happening, as soon as you are triggered, then, you know, focus on yourself. You know, if you're getting things pulled away from you and stuff, you know, I, I think people who are going in and fighting the, um, the education boards and stuff are just wasting time. I'd be gathering my friends up and, and like, hey, let's start our own school. You know, who can teach what, you know? Because the, the stuff they're teaching in their schools is not stuff that your kids need. It's part of the indoctrination. It's part of the fucking get them ready for the Jim Jones of, uh, you know, this is, it's all programming. So yeah, if you want your kids to really learn stuff, start talking to your friends, seeing who can teach what, you know, co-op it. Stop fighting with these people. These people are, are ending. Their, their whole system is blowing up. They can't, they can't continue because it's not high vibration. It is all about taking, it's all about them. It's this hierarchy. And that's ending. That's not going to be in the age of, you know, the new earth, the new, the new world we're going to create. It won't be about that. It's going to be about equality. It's going to be about love. It's going to be about abundance. People are going to have to learn how to be abundant because people don't even know that they deserve anything. I mean, with love and stuff like that, people think love is, you know, comes with pain. That's not love. Yesterday when I realized like being in love, I don't think I've ever been in love. Yeah, I've had times where, you know, I was, you know, really into somebody and they were into me and maybe we had like a couple hours where it felt like, oh, this is what love feels like. But it wasn't really in love because when you are in love, if when you are in that love, it is a place where you both match. It's where you are equal. It's where you're getting and giving. It's, it's a balance to be in love. So there's not a lot of people here at this time who have had that yet. And, you know, that's where we're headed in this age of Aquarius. It's going to be about this balancing. It's going to be, you know, it's love and creation and abundance. And, you know, it's going to be just a really beautiful time in humanity. And uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of technology, a lot of excitement, a lot of learning our true history. And, you know, this is going to be really great times and it's going to be super exciting. So just work on yourself. You know, don't get caught up in fighting with the system as it's leaving. Just know it's leaving. And, you know, it failed. <laughs> and it won't be here much longer. So, you know, just work on yourself and... Um, you know, you can't fix others. You can only fix yourself. So, and when you do your healing, you will begin to see you can accept others. And, you know, everybody's just trying to learn, you know, and everybody's going at their own pace. But all souls have the same goal is to learn, to expand, even though a lot are caught up in this uh, system. Their soul is yelling at them right now to pull away, pull away. So once yours does, you know, really start focusing on your healing. So anyways, have a great day and work on you. Talk to you later. Bye.